Okay, I'd like to call this meeting to order. This is a reorganization meeting for the Board of Elections. And that being said, the purpose of this meeting is to elect the chair and vice chair. We'll start with the roll call. Mr. Bale? Here. Mr. Copeland? Here. Mr. Drexel? Here. Mr. Horton? Here. Mr. Showerman? Here. Mr. Scatella? Here. Mr. Winarski? And there is time for hearing of the public. Would anyone from the public like to speak? And relic rates from Ms. Tuffer. Ben Tuffer? Okay, there I am. I just, um, I'm glad to see the new configuration of the election board that it's complete. And that, can you hear me? Yes. That it's complete and uh, hopefully fair. And um, I just want to share with you, I know this isn't exactly to, to the topic, but um, where I am the judge of elections, we have one tablet and one scanner and um, quite a few people who want to use the tablet just for one reason or another. Either they've made mistakes before or they like the tablet or whatever. And so we end up with a fair number of people waiting online during our busy periods to use the tablet. I have talked to Tanya um, about this and she said there is a potential for us to get a second tablet. Um, I don't think we'll need it for the primary, but we're not the biggest, we're not the biggest um, polling place at all. We're 617 in Erie. Um, but I just want to let you know that um, there may be more need for tablets because there's quite a few people who feel better using the tablets because they have issues filling out the ballot, paper ballots correctly. Um, I personally wish everybody that could would fill out a paper ballot, but that's not my job to force them to do that. Anyway, um, just letting you know, to thank Tanya for her continued excellent leadership on um in the department of elections and voter registration thank you thank you anyone else from the public wishing to speak anyone else from the public like to make a comment today and anyone else from the public wishing to be heard There being none, we will move on. Uh, nominations are now in order for position of chair of the Board of Elections. I'll, I'll nominate Charlie Bale. With this being a presidential election year, I think it'd be beneficial to have someone in there that's um, been at the strings. I'd like to make a motion for uh, Andre Horton. For the, for the same reasons, uh, the expertise of uh, 10 years in this position uh, cannot be overstated. Are there any other nominations? There being none, the nominations are now closed. Okay. Take a vote in order of the nominations. <laughs> Uh, roll call vote for Charlie Bale to be the chairman of the Board of Elections. Mr. Bale? Yes. Mr. Copeland? No. Mr. Drexel? No. Mr. Horton? No. Mrs. Showerman? Yes. Mr. Scatella? No. Mr. Anars? Okay, we'll now take a vote on uh, Andre Horton to be chairman of the Board of Elections. Mr. Bale? Yes. Mr. Copeland? Yes. Mr. Drexel? Yes. Mr. Horton? Yes. Mr. Showerman? Yes. Mr. Scatella? Yes. Mr. Winarski? The uh, motion carries six to zero. I'd like to thank my colleagues for the privilege and honor serving as your chairman of the Erie County Board of Elections. 
for the calendar year 2024. I'd like to open up the nominations for vice chair. I'll nominate Charles Dale for the same reasons. Make a nomination for Mr. Dress. A second. I move the nomination to be closed. Be a second. Yes. That's it. Roll call for the Office of Vice Chair, please. Okay. Uh, this will be for. Charlie Bell for vice chair. Mr. Bale? Yes. Mr. Copeland? No. Mr. Drexel? No. Mr. Horton? No. Mr. Showerman? Yes. Mr. Scatella? No. Mr. Winarski? That motion fails to four. Um, and motion for Chris Drexel for vice chair of the election board. Mr. Bale? No. Mr. Copeland? Yes. Mr. Drexel? Yes. Mr. Horton? Yes. Mrs. Showerman? Yes. Mr. Scatella? Yes. Mr. Winarski? That motion carries. Thank you. All for attending. And so at this point, we'll entertain comments from the new vice chair. I don't have any comments. No. Or entertain comments from the board. Mr. Chair. Council Mr. Taylor. What just took place here, I hope people don't read things into that. Uh, we work together, no matter how we vote. And that's the way it's supposed to be, helping the people of Erie County and Erie County. One remark I would like to make is, whenever I get a chance, I'd like to praise our election office. And, Time that we run it and the people that work back there. It's a safe, secure, well run office. And I can't speak for any place else in Pennsylvania, but I think they're the best. Underpaid, I always bring that up too. But it's just uh, if we get hiccups, and those hiccups are straightened out pretty quick on election, I commend. Tanya and her office and the staff and, and the county council's office because the night of the election, everybody's involved. The council people are involved, everything. And if you could be here at 10 o'clock at night when the people that work the polls for 12 and 14 hours come in here, they always have a smile on their face. They're always joking. And and I and I commend that to the office because how they treat me. That's uh We'll have a safe and honest election. Sure. You have the comments from the board? Mr. Chairman, uh, I'd like to thank the staff. I had a great time working with them. I uh, took over after the chairmanship was vacated, and uh, it was definitely a, a learning experience for me, not something that I had done before, but uh, great staff, great people over there, and made it very easy to uh, to make sure that there was continued success. And I have no doubt that well we've seen um, you would be ahead of the curve in almost everything with regards to that office, with the purchase of new equipment and the way that the election integrity grant uh, money was spent. Um, we, we've shown that we are the gold standard. We continue to be, but it doesn't mean that there isn't room for improvement. We continue to refine processes and procedures, and hopefully that also will continue. So thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> any other comments from the good board? Well, then I'll take the opportunity uh, uh, to make some comments. Mm -hmm. The first thing I want to do is thank Council Bell for such a wonderful job as chair. Last year, it's not a, it's not easy uh, being on the on this side of it on the, uh, when the elections roll around. Uh, but true to what he said, we we are the gold standard of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We we maintained that last year. My vow to you all is that we'll continue to maintain that because regardless of where you stand, uh, 
at, at this point in time in history in 2024, uh, when democracy, many say that democracy is on the ballot. Uh, there's no higher virtuous position than that of the Board of Elections. And, and there's no higher calling for an American uh, than that of the vote. And so this office has always, in my 10 years here, we've, all, uh, we've always been the gold standard. Uh, we'll continue to, to get better. Uh, we'll make mistakes, not like any other entity. We'll own up to those when we do, uh, but we'll be transparent with everything. If I echo the sentiments uh, uh, of everyone else in terms of the election office, and I've been here long enough to know uh, that it's not only the election office, but that it's the entire team. And if you had the opportunity to come out on election night, you'll witness that too. And so I thank our chief clerk and office staff as well. Before we, uh, before I entertain a motion for adjournment, I, I, I'd like to entertain a motion for an executive session. We have some court, uh, uh, some the recent court findings that we need to discuss uh, with Attorney Strategy, uh, Strategy uh, with Jay. Uh, it shouldn't take long, but in any event, I'll entertain that motion for an executive session. So moved. Second. Thank you all. Thank you.